got something in there. Is that another one? Three, there are two pack. Oh my gosh. <sighs> oh my gosh. Is it can't? The whole foot it? is just. <sighs> oh, it might be from when the mom of Bunny Am. I don't know it. what to think. I think it's when Mama Bunny um, Pull that off. steps on it. Steps on the babies. I don't know. I don't know if this is going to make it or not. I don't even know. So Sam and I are out here checking on the bunnies. Um, yesterday Sam discovered a problem. What was it, bud? Baby bunny injuries. We had some injuries. What, what did the injuries look like? How did you find it? How did you know? Um, I saw holes in them, and um, like a, a bump on one. Yeah, we've got two babies that, gosh, we just don't know what to think. Um, I'll try and show. So that, and um... Mom! What? Look, that one has an injury. Yeah, it's got another one, huh? Oh, this baby was biting. This baby had its and then mouth there's on it. I then there's like can't <coughs> no bullies in one. No. Then there's like holes on their backs. Um there was only one hole yesterday. Now there's three. I don't know what to think. We are just sick about it. We we don't know. We're treating the injuries with colloidal silver and some miracle salve that we've gotten. This one's opening um, eyes. Yeah the eyes are starting to open. Mom, I think this one was eating. This one was putting its mouth on the one that got injured. The colors on this one is so cute. A little gray with white in its ears. Oh, it's so fun. But um, we're just, we don't know what to think of these injuries. And uh, we're going to check everybody out look, look, look. for any other injuries Aww. to see. If there's any other problems with any other bunnies that we, we know of two that are injured. Did you hear that? Mm. Hi, Mama. <laughs> okay, let's check everybody out. So we've got the babies taken care of for the minute. Mom's got water. Let's uh, get onto the garden. What are we gonna do today, Sarah? We're gonna, gonna pick seeds and the yes, we're going to plant some carrots and we're also going to plant some yeah. corn that we received from an awesome channel, Homesteading with the Cases. Um, they've become good friends and they're fantastic. Check out their channel. So um, they said that um, they had planted these corn seeds, this corn, um, and it was the best, sweetest corn they've ever had in their lives. So they sent us two packages of those. So we were way excited that it's warm enough Mom, to I get those in the ground. Ones? That is lettuce, and it is too warm to plant lettuce. We missed the boat on the lettuce boat. So we are going to get some carrots in the ground. I got some beets in the ground yesterday, and we are going to plant... No! Yeah, the corn and the carrots. We'll probably do some other things maybe but that is my right now plan then we're going to get them covered up with some straw yeah and see if we can get this garden growing <laughs> it is far from being beautiful and far from being the best garden you've ever seen but it's mine we'll see how it goes um, we have more to do but trying to garden with four kids three out of the four being pretty ornery We've done pretty good. These are the corn seeds we got from the cases. I was gonna show them before the kids dug into them, but they got really excited. So here's the seeds. We have, how many? One, two, three. Four rows of corn. And we are planning on in a week or two to plant the rest of the corn. That way we can kind of get a, a extended crop of corn. Yay! We've 
had a bit of a rough morning this morning, haven't we, Sam? Mm -hmm. This afternoon, I told Emma we've been applying to what I thought was the wounds with colloidal silver and a miracle salve, this stuff we get um, from essential oils. Um, anyway, so we, um, I had Emma with a little dropper put it on them, and she came back in and says, Mom, something moved inside this bunny. And I'm like, what? Anyway, long story short, um, bot flies um, apparently had laid eggs on them and had infested the entire bunny. These are Sam's bunnies and he has taken really good care of them. How are you feeling about this? Sad. Sad. It's really hard, huh? So um, we have had a very candid discussion um, on what we should do. What, what have we discussed? What are we going to do? Probably the best to kill them now than later. So we've we've talked about putting the bunnies down um, to kind of put them out of their misery, right? So we did a lot of research on it. Um, there is there is um, surgery required to remove the uh, the larvae, and then you have to flush it with a you know a bunch of different things to help kill the larvae and they did say um, if it was quite serious um, you should look at um, euthanizing putting down the bunny um, where these these bunnies are what are they how old are they nine days old nine days old actually um, ten days old ten okay nine or ten days old and um, there's just no chance and so we're we are feeling like it is probably the best thing to let these babies go um, so we don't endanger the other seven, right? I am so proud of this boy. He takes care of these bunnies so well. And unfortunately, sometimes this happens. And um, I'm super proud. This is a hard thing. So we are gonna be putting the bunnies down. Um, and we have moved them, as you can see, right here next to us. We had decided already not to move the bunnies, um, but we had felt that um, moving them to a cleaner location um, to get rid of any larvae that might be in the nest area. And um, hopefully mom will take to it. Um, we brought her in and I set her inside the little nest that we have in here and she took pause for a second and looked around and so it kind of felt like she was like oh okay and she's explored and she's out here with her frozen water bottles you know we've got four or five in there and we have moved daddy bunny over to the dog kennel so they are separated and we will enjoy the seven bunnies we have left won't we Sam thanks for coming along on this crazy journey we call homesteading and uh, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. Right, Sam? Thanks for watching. Everything's fine. Wouldn't expect any more from this. The situations in line with every story.